for some ancient communities, being on the move is a way of life at odds with the technological age. In Siberia, the nomadic Evenk people live much as they have for many centuries, migrating with their reindeer. But their way of life is under threat. If Evenk culture disappears, it would be a catastrophe, as a whole body of knowledge about managing nature would disappear. The Evenk have an immense amount of knowledge that has not yet been collected. And if the culture disappears, there is a strong chance that the Evenk would also disappear. Alexandra Lavrillier is a French anthropologist. In 1994, she came to study the Evenk people and their culture. But she soon realized that their nomadic way of life was under threat from the modern world. Like other tribal groups, the Evenk depend on the younger generation to carry on the spiritual and practical customs. Their way of life was at odds with the needs of a modern state that wanted them to attend boarding schools far from their families and culture. Among the nomadic people of Siberia, the Evenk are one of the most mobile groups. The nomadic Evenk are dependent on reindeer. They must travel long distances with their herds to find new pastures. Although the ground is covered in snow, it's nearly spring. These forests will soon turn into mosquito-ridden swamps. The Evenk and their reindeer will be forced to move to the mountains to reach the cooler air. But this is a way of life they have all known since childhood, and it's a way of life they love. They are one of the rare peoples who have two economies linked with one animal, the reindeer. There is the domestic reindeer, which they live and travel with. The other one is wild, which they hunt. Nomadic culture is very fragile. It becomes fragile as soon as it is taken out of its environment. The problem with the education in the villages at the moment is that, at the age of six, the children are taken away from their families and their traditional environment. This means that they tend to lose their language, traditional knowledge and beliefs. And thirdly, there is the terrible solitude of the children, separated from their parents, and the problem of alcohol abuse and suicides, which has become a serious issue in the last few years. It was as if formal education could be responsible for the disappearance of the Evenk culture. It was obvious to Alexandra that it was the schooling of the Evenk children that was key to the survival of these people. For eight long years she has devoted her time to setting up a travelling school and recruiting supportive teachers. The school has now been recognized by the Russian authorities. The aim of the nomadic school is to save the children from having to choose between retaining their nomadic life and living in a town like any other person. The idea is to have a nomadic tent with teachers that travel from camp to camp. The school is nomadic, just like a nomadic family. We are trying to make them understand that it is totally possible to combine the two worlds, the outside modern world with computers and the internet, and their own tradition.
The everyday life of the Evenk is packed with little rituals and beliefs. There is the sense of an exchange between man and nature, often invisible. The Rolex Award will allow us to grow and, above all, to continue to live and develop. First of all, we will be able to take on more teachers to cover a greater number of children who are further away. We also aim to publish several works to help safeguard event culture. The future of the event is uncertain, and they often ask themselves this question. Can we survive with this way of life that we love? We shall see. What's important is to help them as much as possible. Alexandra has created a simple solution that could be the defining factor in the survival of the event people in this area. Recognition from the outside world will help to promote her idea to other Siberian nomads. The same spirit of enterprise that drove Alexandra Lavrilier to success with her nomadic school can be seen in other inspiring projects around the world.